<laughs> Boot fans, what's going on? And welcome into our live show of uh, we call Boots and Bands, where you get an Irish guy and a crazy Canadian talking about boots. Any place in the world you can see something like this. Rich, welcome in. How are you? Uh, also, I should point out, uh, when you say Cray Canadian, there's also a bit of Northern English in there, too, so well, that's it's, true too, you know. Yeah. Well, I am half converted U.S. at this stage, because I've been here pretty close to half my life, so, which is Did pretty you? crazy. Really? Pretty crazy. Well, I've been here 11 years. I'm not telling you how old I am, okay. but I'm here 11 years. So. Well, yeah. Well, I can Wikipedia you to find out how old you are if I really want to. You know, you know something funny about that? <laughs> My Wikipedia page has a lot of lies in it. Really? Yeah, apparently, apparently I just won the um, the Roseville Super League Young Player of the Year. Well, well is, it, is it like an over-35 league or something where you don't fully qualify and you get to be brought in or something? I guess that would make sense, but no, it's an open, open league, and it's not a very good league either, so... Uh, but yeah, I got Super League Young Player of the Year. Don't believe everything you see on Wikipedia. Well, well, well congratulations on Young Player of the Year. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a, it's a honor I'll take seriously someday when I'm older. Hey, we got a lot to go through today, and I wrote it all down just so that we can keep in line. Oh. And we'll let everybody know what we're going to be watching. If you're watching live right now, thanks for tuning in. You can leave comments down in YouTube, and every so often I'll be clicking an update and checking out your comments, whether it's um, something about... Boots, or if you have something to comment about what we're saying, leave it down below. And we'll check it out. And we'll give you a shout out if yeah. we think if you're you worthy. Want, if you want to congratulate Brian about the for being the Player of the Year, what's that? Yeah, you can do that too. We're gonna start with the Adidas 11 Pro. We're gonna go into the Nitro Charge colorway. Quick update in New Balance. We might as well keep doing that until the boots are released. We'll give away the boots from last week. And we have a small giveaway that we'll, we'll figure out for this week. We got our moment of the week. We got new boots that are in that we want to talk about. And we're going to finish up with some Black Friday information. How does that sound? Sounds like we're going to be busy. It does. And we're going to kick it off right now with the Adidas 11 Pro. And I should note that this is not the Adidas Adipure 11 Pro, as we kind of thought it might be called. But for some reason, Adidas have stuck with that 11 Pro. No idea why. What are your initial uh, thoughts on this boot, Rich? Uh, my initial thoughts are... Uh, uh, I've, been, I've been sitting there thinking, much like Charlie Nicholas on Sky Sports, and uh, Adidas have, have listened. They've, they've come back to the leather for the Heritage boot. Yeah. Uh, out, at, out with the Taurus leather uh, of... The prior 11 Pro, in comes the K leather. They, they've listened, and I think the boots are going to be better for it. I mean, not too crazy on the shock of uh, the shock of orange and like weird blue gray going up the middle of it. But you know what? If that's my only complaint about a boot, is it's got a it's got a little bit of a shock of color up the middle. But I'm not 100% sold on it. Well, you, it's, you know it's, what that reminds me of. Boot. That reminds me, these boots remind me of your smart, studious A-plus student. You know, the one who, um, you know, is renowned for being all s about study, but then comes into school one day with this big old mohawk, colored mohawk, that runs through the middle of their hair, and you're kind of like, whoa, what just happened right here? You know, this guy is all okay. traditional and cool, but he's got an unexpected edge. Okay, so you're, yeah, no, no, I can see what you're saying there. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a boot with a little bit of edge to it, yeah, and... Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's it like you say, it's it's the studious it's the studious boot. I mean, it's the boot which, yeah, normally is, is it well, it's gonna be extraordinarily dependable under any yeah. sort of condition. And yeah, no, it's just got that got that shock of color, that that little shock of edge to it, so it's not just lost amongst the crowd. And what I'm most interested about on this boot is that honeycomb paneling. Can you see the image right now? Yep, no, 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 you've got it zoomed yeah. in nicely there. Yeah, yeah no, that honeycomb yeah. panel. You can see the yeah. honeycomb panel. That's going to be an interesting addition. We have a pair that are on the way in right now that we're going to be checking out in the next week. Um, I think they should be in this. They actually should be in for next week's show. Oh, so perfect. we'll be able to check them out. But I'm interested by that, that underlay, that honeycomb underlay underneath that K-letter. It looks like the K-letter has been stretched across it, which mm -hmm. would be interesting. 
side view, something else I kind of like, and I'm going to work on switching images right here. Side view, and you can you can you can tell me what you think it is. Okay. When I get when I get this picture up, that was takes me a few seconds to get these pictures up. Okay, here we go. Side view. Does this not remind you of Adidas version of the Nike Premier? You know what I mean? It's got that yeah. black, really traditional K letter look. No, absolutely. It's got yeah, it's got a little bit of a like I mean, obviously you're getting a little bit of camera flash there, but uh from the lighting. But yeah, no, it's got that nice yeah. little it's got that nice leather sheen to it. But yeah, no, I can see exactly it's uh like it looks the Nike. Very smooth. Very smooth, very yeah, it's very I suppose like you say, Nike Nike Premier esque. I mean it's just a you're you're getting the full K leather and you're getting top top specs when it comes to the heritage boot market currently. Yeah. Uh, Adidas are making a run because I know they've lost a little bit of market share in the last twelve months or so. Yeah. So a boot like well, that is going to take a nice run of the tempo. No, exactly. Because I can see I can see players choosing that over over the tempo just on looks alone. If you want something which, if you if you're looking for a black K leather boot which yeah has a little bit of color, then you're going to choose that over the tempo right now, which is in I think they are in still orange and blue mode. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next up. So no, I am I am a fan. Let's, Let's move along. Let, let us know your comments down below. What you think of the new 11 Pro? What you think of the design? And what you expect performance-wise? Um, one of the first comments that we got in, Rich, which I haven't seen this. Maybe you have. Uh, drug by training in the Nike Mercurial twos. Have you seen? I, I haven't he's, spotted that. We're, we're I haven't have spotted it. But Drogba has he's he's gone back. He's gone back in time to the. To the Mercurials, to the, to the second generation Mercurials. It sounds like it, and that's that's um, Ali Kultas who gives us that information. Who's pretty awesome. Okay. His knowledge, he knows his stuff. So oh, no, he's, we, yeah, I know. We'll have to check. Don't want to. Got uh, the Silver Alien. <laughs> Wants to know: Do you prefer the Nike Superfly or the Adidas F15? Uh, Brian, seeing as you have experience in both. Right now, the current Superfly, I would go for the Superfly. Yeah. Which which is a bold statement considering the fact, if you know anything about me, I was anti-Superfly up until this current release. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I um, seem to remember you, a, you got taken to the coals on the week it was with a comment on your Superfly review saying that it should have been a five-star review as opposed to a four-and-a-half. Yeah, that's true. But it's hard to get five star, man. I know. I, I think it's I, well. Well, as, as I remember, it was as part of your reasoning was that you weren't fully sold on the dynamic fit collar with the uh, with the speed boot. No, well, I'm not at all because it adds a little bit more pressure around the ankle, and anybody that wears speed boots will know that your initial step and that spring off is vitally important. So if you have something that's Holding you back just a little bit, it's not going to help as much. And as well as that, it's the whole wash factor. You know, you can't wash the, the makeup collar, so it yeah. causes a problem that as you wear them, it's like, it's eventually going to stink up. No, no, um, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know anything about speed because I don't like to move, so I don't have to worry about the collar affecting a first step. But well, at, least, at least you're honest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the only I'm Next, the only thirty year old playing over thirty fives, so let's put it that way. <laughs> oh yeah. You're giving away your age? Oh yeah. <laughs> you look young for your age, you're all good. We got the new Nitro Charge colorway. Uh can you see that one there, Rich? Yep, yeah, no, we're up and going. What do you think of that one? Uh I mean it's a I like I actually like the colorway on this one. It's uh I mean You've got a nice contrast. Uh, I mean, it's not too it, it's not too too out there color wise. I mean, compared to let's say the original release colorway for the new Nitro Charge series, which was the, 
like the the shock the shock red sort of value. This is this is much much better. It's it's a little bit more subdued. Yeah. It just works. It's yeah. Well, Call it my I'm old age, wanting to go more conservative at times, but yeah. I'm on the opposite spectrum. I actually enjoyed the supernatural version of the Night Charge more than these. Really? Hmm. Yeah, I did. I liked the the pop of color that was was on them compared to. I don't I don't really like this this orange hue that's going on. For okay. me, it just doesn't, it doesn't work as well. Not my preferred choice. Oh, Which, by the way, we we have plenty of options in the Nitro Charge uh, range right now. There's been a lot of new colorways released. We're just kind of added to the verve of the range and the appeal. No, I, absolutely. I mean, now. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is a similar. You have a similar sort of color combination with that orange as what's on the 11 Pro, which is uh, just dropped as well. So, is this sort yeah. of a? Uh, could this be a sign, perhaps, about maybe Adidas teaming sort of colorways together? So you have the 11 Pro here and the Nitro Charge being released at the same time, being released with same, similar colorways. But they're yeah. not colorways which are going to be shared by the F50 and the Predator. Possibly something a little bit specific for the boot. Something a little bit specific for the silos. You have, they say, yeah, the Nitro Charge and the F uh, Nitro Charge and the 11 Pro sharing, and then they're kind yeah. of along the same lines as well in terms yeah. of performance. So I mean, that would make sense. I guess we'll see with um, any more upcoming releases that they have coming to market. So. No, that's true. Oh, if I can go back to the 11 Pro for one minute. Yeah. I forgot to mention uh, that our buddy Andrew McColl sent me a tweet just before we went live. And if you guys oh, like, you. everybody likes, everybody loves a boot bag when you throw out big money on a pair yeah. of boots, when you get a top tier pair of boots. Well, the 11 Pros do feature a boot bag in the current release. They do, huh? Yeah, he is. Uh, Andrew's thrown me a tweet with a picture of, uh, I believe it's the, the the white orange colorway. Yeah, featuring a boot that's, bag. That's the and because one I'm not tech, I'm not a technological guy, so I don't have the ability to throw the pictures up like you do there, Brian. Otherwise, I, you know, try and figure out a way to throw it up. But if you, yeah. you know, you want a boot bag, if if getting a boot bag is a selling point in a boot, you went. I've always wanted the 11 Pro, but they don't come with a boot bag. Well, now they come with a boot bag, so you can buy the 11 Pro for that as well. You know, the, the 11 Pro SLs, the, the super light one, white ones, usually come with a, a boot bag. So I have one or two ideas boot bags, but it would be nice to have an additional one with more of a standard release, which is basically Adidas moving into the modern world and trying to compete with Nike. Yes, yes. It, th thank you, Adidas, for joining us in the modern world when it comes to a bag for your boots. I, so I they appreciate don't dirty that. up. So that they don't. Yeah, no. I I appreciate the fact that I get a bag which doesn't dirty up my soccer bag if I happen to throw my boots in my soccer bag. You know, if you excuse me for a second, let me show let me yeah. show you something real quick. Oh, here we go. The company that's done a real good job of it is Under Armour. Really? Wow. Yeah. This boot bag comes with the blurs, blur carbon, and it is probably one of my favorite boot bags, simply because it's got a very simple connector. Oh, it has. It's, it's pretty well connected. Yeah, so you put it around your. It it has chest the backpack. It. Yes. It has the backpack connector, eh? And it's got a little zip and everything. This thing is awesome. It's like it's like my go-to. I use this when I play indoor. This is the one I use. I throw all my gear. Yeah. In. So. Well, yeah, I no, when you play indoor. indoor. Next will be yeah. Puma. We gotta see Puma bring us a boot bag. Puma do bring you a boot bag, but the they only one? bring it. They only bring it as in leather, and they only bring it on specific models of the Puma King. Yeah. Well, I and could do they, with some more Puma ones for sure. Oh, Puma bring out the nicest boot bag. I they get they they put a pair in with the uh, Mexico finales when they did the uh, the homage to the '86 World Cup. Yeah, the, which I, yeah, I locked the, out and got a pair of. And the, Mar the Maradonas we talked about the other day. Similar idea, yeah. Yeah. So, all right, let's move along. Let's keep it going right here. Next up, we got the uh, a New Balance update. 
New Balance. And while I'm at this, I'm going to just update our YouTube so I can see if anybody else has commented. Yeah. And pull up the image. When are we going to get somebody to work for us that can pull up the images quicker? Uh, again, I think it was the, uh, I think it was working for Peanuts, wasn't it? Peanuts, yeah. If anybody wants to work for Peanuts, let us know. We're more than willing to give you Peanuts. Okay. So have you got that, that image up there, Rich? Uh, y yes. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. No, I was just about to ask you where where on earth is Vincent Company. Meanwhile, he's on the left there. Yeah, so Vincent's on the left, and he's wearing a black out pair with the N on the side. And as far as I recall, Fellini was wearing these similar pair in training last week, also in black. So Ramsey is the guy in the whites. And everybody else seems to be in the blackout pair right now. I can't say blackout because they've got a white new balance okay. symbol on this. I was gonna say yeah, they've got a they've got a giant shock of the letter N in white. So yeah, they're not yeah. complete blackouts anymore. Yeah, I can't really zoom in. I got this image from from Getty, so um, it's a little bit blurred. But you can see them. So we still don't know much about them performance-wise. We still don't know an exact date when they'll hit the market. But for now, we're being teased with images like this. Yeah, and then you have uh, Tim Cahill yesterday showing up in a pair. Yeah. Coming off the bench, 14 Coming minutes left. Bench. And he's probably going to play in the um, the second leg game against New England since um, Bradley Wright Phillips is suspended because of the cards. So. Yeah, no, and I, I assume you're going. I, mean, I assume you're cheering on the old club. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. You know, revs are hard, man. That's that's my MLS team. Well, you're not uh, you're team. No, not a not a uh, not a slave to geography, right? You're no. sticking with sticking with the revs. Sticking with the revs, man. I missed that in my ring in that final against Houston, but I'm hoping that the guys <laughs> can pick up a ring this year. I want to see Jermaine Jones on Instagram flash his ring. That would be awesome. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It flash his oh. ring, flash the Under Armour. We're good. <laughs> It's right, yeah, another Under Armour player, so it's good for them if he's the winner. Boot winner. So we got the boots, which... Do I have the boots here? Somewhere? I do have the boots here. Hold on. Yeah, you should. So these were, were for the give, giveaways of Diodora DDNAs. Yep. That we have right here. And, Rich, I believe that you're going to do the honors. Yes. Uh, in, yeah, I, in I, I busted... Uh, no, no. Uh, I can. I'll give my own little intro here. Is I busted the boots and bands budget this week for the contest. You did. Good for you. Yeah. Uh, I do what I can. So, if we can see what's going on here, the winning boot is there. The New Balance prototype boot, which we just finished talking about. New Balance are the winner of the Diodora boots. No, wait, wait. The boot was the was the New Balance boot. So the winner, who's the winner? The winner, I believe you did. You write? It's, yeah, I wrote down. It's Alex Bradbury. Okay, I was gonna say because I didn't write it down. So, <laughs> so you Alex, were the one that picked the winner. I picked the boot. You were supposed you to. You, you researched the winner. <laughs> oh yeah, we 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 worked in it together. I was gonna Alex say you Bradbury, told you told me to choose a boot, so I did. <laughs> you did a great job, Rich. I do Alex I Bradbury, I hope you're watching right now because if you're not watching, you don't win the boots. No, I'm kidding. I'll hit you up on uh, on Google even if you're not watching, and um, we'll get the boots to you. This week we gotta have another giveaway. Uh, we're gonna do something different or something we've done before, but it's a little bit unique. We got another print to give away. Okay. So this one is a one of a kind, Rich. You know why? Uh, it is the I only we... one ever created in this style. With the Soccer Cleats 101 logo. With the Soccer Cleats 101 logo? Well, that's wonderful. That's not actually the logo. This is like I was the say, logo I used to have. It's pretty cool. And it matches I like the that, I like that logo. Do you like that logo? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, that's that's my new logo. No, it's that's not really. It. It's not. But are we going to go, um, go throwback Thursday on the logos? We, we could do that for sure. We need a <laughs> Boots and Bants logo. Wouldn't it be cool if we had like one of these prints with Boots and Bants in here? Wait, can we wait? Could we modify that logo? We probably could. Bands? Because the boots, yeah, boots and bands. We absolutely could. All right, so we have a logo for boots and bands. It's now the it's now the Throwback Thursday Soccer Cleats 101 logo. 
and we'll give away the first ever Boots and Bands print next week. And this one here yeah. is going to be up for giveaway this week. If you want to win, um, I thought we'd do something a little bit different, so I grabbed a uh, football facts book. Oh. I'm going to pick a random page. 555 of them? Yeah, I'm going to pick a random page, and I'm just going to pick one of the... They're all statements. I'm going to find one of the statements, and I'm going to create a question out of the statement. How does it sound? Am I, am I eligible? Well, yeah, of course you're eligible. You can give the answer away if you know the answer. So I'm just going to randomly... I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going to go this page right here, right? It looks like Which page side should I go? Should I go, uh, should I go, go with le left or right? Go with the left, and I think it's going to be page 237. It's page 140. Nah, okay. Oh, this is an easy one. Oh. No. Oh, this is a really easy one. Do we have to go an easy one? No, no. Let's go a little. Well, should we start with the easy ones and then work yeah, our way up to the harder this ones? One is really, it's really easy. All right, okay. go to the right page. Okay, I'll go to the right page. Uh, okay, here's a good one. The youngest player to have appeared in the FA Cup final is. Who was 15 years and 233 days old when he appeared as an 83rd minute substitution for Gillingham in their first round defeat at Barnet in, on the 10th of November 2007? Later in the season, this guy was transferred to Arsenal. Who's the guy? Leave it in the comments down below. I, the youngest I, player I to have appeared in the FA Cup. Now, by the way, just as reference, this book could be a few years old, so there's no guarantee so that it's. It's the correct answer. But whoever this guy was that played Gillingham, Barnett, 83rd minute sub, go find him. Yeah, if you, Somebody go what, find him. What, what year What year was that match, did you say it was? 2007. 2007, yeah. So just look up 2007 first round FA Cup on yeah. the Google machine. Yeah. And yeah, Gillingham and Barnett if you need to. <laughs> this is a good little book. You, know, you want to know what the other question was really quick? Yeah, I do actually. Okay. It was the 1998... Uh, FA Cup final, Manchester United versus Newcastle. Who scored within one minute and thirty six seconds of coming up? Striker. Well, what's an easy question for you because you're a Manchester United guy, but the answer is all the Gunnar Solskjaer. England, one of the best guys to score in in, in the air. What I doubt he's running. Oh, it was against Manchester United. No, no, he was a Manchester United player. Well, well, then that would be so Teddy Sheringham. Yes, Teddy Sheringham. Yeah. Well, I assume, well, you said well, you said one at one minute and thirty six seconds of coming on as a sub, so it's Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. No, because you remember um, Ray Keane got injured early on in the game. Mm. I think it was Ray Keane. Wow, well, somebody got injured and then he subbed in. You see, oh, I think it was, that was. I think it could have been Scholes. No, because Scholes scored a second goal in that game. I don't know. Yeah. Well, Let's no. Well, that was. I know that FA Cup final, if only because it wasn't actually on television. It was sort of on a pay per view thing up in Canada. And so I went down to a local English pub with my grandfather to watch the FA Cup final. We pulled into the pub and found out that they were charging $20 to walk in to watch the FA Cup final. So we left and came home. And then I didn't get to see the FA Cup final. It's one of the first, one of the only ones I've missed since I've been in Canada. <laughs> yeah, I remember watching that one. I was back in Ireland when I watched that one. So, so yeah. I didn't miss it. Um, I'm trying to go back to, to YouTube here. I clicked, I clicked the... The screen off, so I haven't got up. I'm trying to pull it up. Oh, yeah. Next thing you want to talk about is new boots that we have. Well, we in. have. We're going that way. Oh no, no, go ahead. What are we or do say? we want to talk? Or do we want to talk about Nathan Sturridge's brother? Yes, let's talk. You talk about him while I pull up YouTube, because I know we have a lot of comments in right now. So yeah, go for well, it. okay. So Nathan Sturridge has a younger brother named Caleb Sturridge. I think he's a younger brother. Is what I've been told. And he's a kicker for the Minnesota, no, the Miami Dolphins. And he pulled off the Rabona onside kick yesterday afternoon in uh, the Miami Dolphins game as they were trying to maintain possession late on in the fourth. Was it late on in the fourth quarter? I didn't actually watch yeah, the game. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was like the last kickoff and, and the Dolphins were down, so they needed to get the ball back. Yeah, so they, went, so they went onside and he pulled off the left-footed Rabona, which completely did flummoxed, like, it flummoxed the defender who was, like, at the midpoint where the ball was. He was going one way, and he couldn't pull back. But... Yeah, it was a pretty crazy move. But he didn't, it didn't result in the Dolphins getting the ball. But it was nice yeah. to see it. But it was nice to see a player, a kicker, throw out a Rabona attempt in the NFL. 
I mean, we, yeah. we love it when we love it when we love it when players we love it when NFL players wear soccer cleats. We love it when NFL kickers throw out Rabonas. It's you know, bring in a little bit of the beautiful game to that, that most American of games. It was that yeah, it was an interesting strategy. It's unfortunate they didn't pull it off. I seen on some some other blog where they said somebody tried to pull it off a few years ago and let it happen. So it has happened. Hey, really quickly, Andrew sent us a picture of the boots. So I have it right here. Oh, excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we might as well pull it up. And I think this is from his um, his Instagram page, which okay. is Drew Plays Bass. I assume that's his. I'm not 100% sure. I assume it's also bass and not bass. Yeah, SS. Bass. Isn't yeah. bass? Well, what about bass the, what the fish? The, bass is a fish in a beer. The beer, yeah. I call it bass. I don't think he, I don't think he plays a beer. I'd say B A S E is bass. No, no, bass like a bass guitar. B A S S oh. guitar. All right, well, let's yeah, move Drew on. Drew plays bass. <laughs> you or should like, have the, or like the bass. <laughs> <laughs> it's my yeah. That's my, the, that's my, the image. Machine. That's the image that he sent me, and that's yeah. yep. So there we have the boots and the bag, which is pretty cool. And that's, and that's two-tone yeah. colorway. So that what you're seeing on top right there is one side is that orange color, and the other side is the white, which is pretty cool. No, it's a nice. It's it. it you know what? I'm not. It, I like the 11 Pro for the idea, but it's generally the black classic sort of look. Yeah. But I'm. I don't dislike that color. Does Does Andrew have the boots already? That would be pretty cool. No, if Andrew has the boots already, that's even better. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Andrew, if you have the boots already, send us another image for next week of them out of the box and on your feet or something. I don't know. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Ethan chimed in. Good old Ethan, who's one of our writers. He uh, he said, I would really like to see New Balance release the two blackout and whiteout releases to start off the boot career. I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah. What if they did one black, one white? Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, like right foot, right foot white, left foot black, like the like the Puma Tricks idea. Yeah, I like That'd it. Be interesting. I don't know. Uh, they won't. New Balance won't do it because New Balance are you know more of a uh, conservative sort of stylings and a lot of things that they do. But that'd be really cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, starting off, they might want to be a little bit more conservative. Mm -hmm. Not too brash or too bold, so, but we'll see. Okay, boots we have in. Is that all we have with, with news moment of the uh, week? That's, yeah, that's that's the moment of the week I have is, I mean, right. you know. Let's move on to the boots we have in right now. By the way, just to, to update on some of the boots I have in testing, I've finished testing like three pairs, but I haven't finished the reviews. I promise I'll get one up tonight, which will be the Puma King, King 2. I'll get that review up tonight. I've also got like the Warrior Screamer 2, which I finished testing. Um, and the Puma Evo Power leather version. I also have the, the, the yeah, so they're finished as well. And then I'm currently testing the Asics um, DS Lite X Fly synthetic version. So there's a lot of things. And right here, which I'm going to do uh, a feature on the website in the next few days, we got the CR7 with that sparkle effect. No. It, yeah. yeah, no, it sparkles. They're nice and pretty, right? They they are. It's like I say. So it's what what I think is pretty funny, and I've kind of pointed this out in a few places. Is I don't know if you can read that, but it just basically says that as you wear them, the sparkle effect is going to wear off. Wait, wait. So as you as so as you wear a boot, it's going to look less new. <laughs> That's basically the case. No, I think it just won't Nike. sparkle as much. You're not going to have as much sparkle as much. So what you could do if the sparkle runs off, if you've got a sister or a mom who has makeup, you know, sometimes women have the sparkle. Oh, glitter. just get. get Get some glue. Get some glue. Get some glue sticks and just yeah, glitter or not. And if you want to make your own pair of CRs like this, just grab any pair of boots and put glitter on. Uh, soccer cleats 101 is not responsible for any hindrance in performance that you will incur while doing Brian's glitter idea. Uh, and if you want to, if you want to red out your boots, you should just use some lipstick. <laughs> this also comes with a boot bag, Rich. Uh, Does it come with a boot bag? Oh. It's a nice one, actually. I like the black. 
I... Oh, no, it do... never mind. Never mind. But it's still nice. That's going to be on your back, so nobody's going to see it. Everybody's just going to yeah, see it. Yeah, but, I mean, I mean, I'm shocked that it's not on the front of it. And your zipper up top. Oh, so. change. The other boot we got in, so I'm going to do a little feature on these. I'm not going to test them out because we've already tested the, the Vapor X, but... Oh, and the inner boot is the Elastico Finale 3s, the indoor version. As you can see from the soil plate. These are a pretty interesting boot. And remember we were talking last week about the, the enclosed ankle. Oh boots yeah, the enclosed. Inc- the these yeah. these are these are like that. No, they are, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is now while you have them up there, the heel. Yeah. Is it if you, if you can like, can you like scrunch it in? Is it like is the heel made of the same material as that little sock part of it or no? Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. So right here, sorry, I'm getting not the right. So the material runs to this this sewn line right here. So this okay. Stuff right here separates. So if you flip around to the to the heel, yeah, this this region right here is the same material, and then this is like the synthetic. Oh, okay, so that's the synthetic. That sort of Nike skin idea. I posted a picture of them on Instagram today, the inside of the boot, which is pretty interesting, and I'm, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this as well. Well, you kind of can right there. Oh, yeah, no, you, you got see that it. honeycomb, and then you got that double stitch eyelet. Yep. You know now? So, it's got, so it's got that sort of combined idea. If I want to talk about, let's say, two outdoor boots, you have that, com- you have that eyelet of the current vapors. Yeah. And then you have that honeycomb texture idea of... The hyper venom. That's true. It, yeah, it does have that feel. I I have a feeling that the inside of well, you know, Andrew will probably give us the answer to this one right now. But I have a feeling the inside of the 11 Pro might be the same type of material, that honeycomb feel. Mm-hmm. So, by the way, check this out. If you need a boot that's flexible, there you go. That's yeah. They're they're so easy to, to flex them. Hello, my name is Boot. Uh, so yeah, so we have the Elasticos. No boot bag in this one because it is a indoor boot that's retail at $80, $90, $90. So you don't get a boot bag with this. You don't, oh, well. No boot but bag. But mind you, mind you, you don't really need an indoor boot bag because you're not going to get your you indoor go, boots, like, muddy. Yeah, you go dressed in what you're wearing, so. Well, some people do. Well, I, I, uh, I don't. Well, while, while we're while we're talking right here, and we have some people online. Um, officially, our thumbs up button is broken, so we need people to click on it so that it unbreaks itself. Yeah. Yeah. So just just click it right now. Just give us a thumbs up. Uh, last thing which we need to talk about. Oh, Andrew says you have to quit telling them what to do. Oh, okay. Sorry, Andrew. Yeah. And Kevin Hardy. All right, Kavanagh, all right. Kevin, I... Kevin Hardy Kavanagh lives in Canada. Did you know that? No, uh, no. Don't 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 do the American thing. It's Kevin. Yeah, but he or she. I don't even know if it's he or she. Kevin Hardy. I don't know. Um, is in Canada. That's awful. I'm gonna get slapped for that one. Yeah. Our last thing we want to talk about right here is Black Friday, which is this week for anybody in the U.S. And there are some tremendous Black Friday deals. We'll be covering them all on the website as well as I'm going to be posting any top deals on Twitter and Facebook. So you got to find us on Twitter and Facebook if you want to see any deals. Right now, Soccer Logo has us up to 70% off boots. Um, the best I've seen is 60% off, and that's some of the older Model, model Addy Zeros and Vapors. So there are some really quality deals right there. And there's some appropriate sizing as well, lots of sizes. Saga.com is probably, and this is unofficial, but they're probably going to have their $20 off any $100 order. That's what they've done for the past two years. And then they have a percentage off on Cyber Monday, so watch out for that. Um, similarly, I think World Soccer Shop did 10% off any purchase last Black Friday, so they might do that again. But, I mean, the key to this is there are going to be places that you can get 20% off new releases, which you normally couldn't get. And that's what you need to watch out for. If you're looking for a new release, otherwise hit up the sales section of any website and use whatever deal they have. Um, yeah. I can see Addy Zeros dropping to about 100 bucks this this weekend, and Vapors as well. So if you wanna wanna catch up on any of the deals, 
I will be posting them all as they come in on um, on Twitter and on Facebook. More, more so Twitter. So I'll post them as they come in. So if you want to deal, get following and watch out for any alerts that come in. Rich, you going to be looking for any boots? This weekend? Uh, I am generally always looking for deals. So if there's if there's a screaming deal to be had, I'll be in there. What do you want to deal uh, on? I mean, you, you, the one I want to deal on is is the one that I'm least likely to get a deal on. It's 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 the Elastico Superfly in the turf configuration. Yeah. Because winter in Canada is you know eight months a year, so they say, as the rumor goes. It's not, but that's the rumor. Yeah. Uh, so there's a, I do a lot more on I do a lot more indoor on turf than I do even out than I do outdoor in the summer playing. So I'm playing three four nights a week in the winter. I'm playing maybe two nights a week in the summer. So I really want to get my hands on. On the turf, the turf superfly, just to see. Well, I'm gonna be looking out for you, buddy. If I see one, I will tag you and let you know. Oh, beautiful! So I will let you know. Let's hope you. Let, hopefully, you can get more than twenty percent off a pair since they've been on the market for a couple of months. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, you guys. That has been the episode for this week. Thanks for tuning in. I think we've had a record number of people online at one time, and we've got a bunch of comments comments in. If you're watching and you're not live, feel free to leave comments down below and we'll check them out. And thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up so we know you're watching. Um, Rich, until next week, man. You stay safe and uh, have a good week. Thanks. You too, Brian. Thanks, guys.